Hi everyone, my name is Bob. This is my partner Paul. We're going to talk about fire safety in the kitchen today. Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going over another delicious recipe. This one is a dessert. It's called Firehouse Crackle. Uh, what we want to do is get our butter and add it to a saucepan, like so. And then next we have brown sugar. We're going to add that as well. And before we put the pot on the stove, uh, we want to get a pan, line it with parchment paper, and we're going to use regular saltine crackers and put them in a grid formation, covering the whole bottom. And next we're going to get our pot, bring it over to our stove, and we want to bring it on medium heat to a slow rolling boil. We can also turn our stove on and have it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So some important tips to remember when you're in the kitchen using the stove. You want to always ensure that our saucepan, the handle is always facing inward, not sticking out where you can bump into it. We never ever have combustibles on the stove, such as oven mitts or dishcloths. If we ever have a fire in the stove, make sure you immediately close the stove, turn off the stove and call 911. All right, the caramel mixture is done. And so now what we're going to do is evenly pour it over top of our crackers. All right, and next we take our crackers, we put them in the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for four minutes. Now that it's been four minutes, we're going to turn the oven off and take the crackers out. And now we're going to take our chocolate chips and sprinkle them over the crackers. With the chocolate chips on and the oven off, we're going to put it back in the oven for one minute. All right, one minute is up. We're going to take it out now. And with our spatula, we're just going to evenly spread it. And lastly, we're going to add roasted pecans. Just evenly spread them all over the crackers. Oh, hey, we've now given some time for our squares to cool down, cut them up, and now we're ready to eat. Dig in, they're delicious. Thanks for joining us for serving up fire safety in the kitchen. We'll see you next year.